Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. So today I'm gonna take you on just a quick little tour um, around the front, which I don't typically show because I don't know, I just have not worked out there very much this year. And it's because I'm like super busy in the backyard. But I wanna show you um, some things that I got done this year in the front and then take you like around the side. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll turn around the camera. So I've been working on this bed. This is part of the bed I'll show you that goes all the way around that has my head, my Tibet hydrangea hedge, the peekaboo alliums, some hookara over there. Um, so th this bed is all connected. So take you around. I just popped in three Invincible Garnetta hydrangeas by Prison Winners. I put those in last week sometime and this bed is a work in progress so let me just show you what it looks like if I back up so you can see I've got a tater tot hedge those tater tots are by proven winners as well and then I've got three more invincible garnettas and then I've got um, three actually one two three four hydrangeas over here um, when I remember <laughs> their names, I'll put them up on the screen actually. So this area is a, probably gets about five hours of sun, I would say. Um, so these are actually getting just the right amount of sunlight, just the right amount. Like I'm, I'm hoping to squeak by on like five to six hours of sun. So I've got that hedge going all the way around. I, I want this area to kind of have that big, big uh, hydrangea bloom, you know, like the big mop heads. I think it will go well with kind of the style of the house. So yeah, that's this front bed here. And then I've got my hydrangea, or sorry, I cannot talk today guys it, it we had a rough morning this morning anyway so I've got my boxwood hedge that goes down here all the way to the end these boxwoods are from um, the giveaway I won was it last year I think it was last January from instant hedge so this area right here I do have not touched much I call this the triangle bed and it is rough you guys there's weeds, there's hosta, there's lilies, there's all kinds of things going on in here. And just look at this. Elephant ears that are getting neglected. So yeah, there's just so much going on. And that's part of the reason why I don't really show this area because it's neglected, it's not watered, it's not taken care of at all. Nature's taking care of it. I'm coming up this way. I just want to give you guys a view. At some point, we plan to redo this walkway. It was like this when we moved in. I apologize for the noise. Yeah, it's noisier out front of the house. So we've got two big trees. A really nice hosta right here that I don't deserve because I don't take care of it. We've got some king tut grass. I've got my two urns here that have boxwood in them, and I've got some mail on the porch. Then I've got the two planters there, and then that's the planter that I potted up uh, recently in a video. Let me show you guys what it looks like. There, let me grab that mail real quick. All right, so I got the mail off the porch so I can really show you. So here's um, the planter that I planted up in a video, I'll tag it. It's looking really, really good. That's a Miss Piggy Caladium. We've got polka dot plants, some begonia, and then the asparagus fern. These two planters up here have box, have each have a boxwood and then some begonias. So down to this part, there, here's the rest of the boxwood hedge. This area, I have not touched this area at all besides to pull a weed random, randomly, you know, not really tending to it at all. 
this is what it looks like. I've got an oak leaf hydrangea hedge going down there that is really small. You can't really tell. But this takes us to the west side of the house. We've got Rose of Sharon, a Rose of Sharon hedge that grows down over here. I've got some hydrangeas over here. These are probably, these are from part of the Hertz Gardens haul that I did two years ago. So I don't exactly know what these guys are. They're either Firelight or Pinky Winky. We've got some ivy that's growing over from down there. The ivy's really good at helping with erosion, but it, it takes over everything. So um, I have to come through here and cut this all back. The ivy is like all down this way. It's down on my neighbor's property, all the way down here. It has not been managed well at all. The best that I can do is just keep it out of the walkways and keep it off of plants that I'm not, that I don't want it on at this point. Because this is, this is years of ivy, years of it, so. So I've got a little box here. It looks terrible. I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm actually going to plant more hostas and a couple more of these and then set them up over here. This is our basement. Um, but I think it would look pretty on this side just to have these little containers full of hostas going around this way. And I have a few more in the garage, so yeah. So here is the side. Um, this side gets ignored a lot too. I've got a hydrangea hedge over here. We've got some of that cool Japanese forest grass. Japanese, the Japanese forest grass on this side is doing so much better than the other side. Butterfly bushes, clematis, Virginia, Miss Piggy Virginia, which I'm in love with. So many things going on and these hydrangeas are the same hydrangeas that oh I know they are they're endless summer hydrangeas so this hedge right here is endless summer and the hydrangeas in the front that I couldn't remember are also endless summer hydrangeas you guys there is an oak leaf here at some point you know these hydrangeas are gonna be so big this oak leaf is gonna be giant that it will need to be moved. So my plan is, I like our property goes from that green pole, like all the way across here. So I have this, you know, unmanaged space back there to be able to pop plants in. So like big tall plants will go in the back. Over here, got some hydrangeas, got my Aldi rose, the last standing rose of the Aldi's plant, of the Aldi's rose video. Hostas are all crispy. But yeah, so that is about it from this tour. Let me show you this clematis that I got from Spring Hill Nursery. This is actually, it looked much better, but it's been devoured by some kind of bug. But this is clematis midori. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is really, really beautiful. I just got this plant this year and the fact that it's blooming is just blowing my mind. So I've enjoyed those blooms quite a bit. And I have down here, this is Pinstamen, I believe. And I, plant, I started this from seed this year. So seeing this bloom is blowing my mind as well. So many things blow my mind about gardening. So yeah got hydrangea, hibiscus, limelight, this is my pugster amethyst butterfly bush, one of them, I, I think I have about nine, so there's one there, there's one there, there's 
two in the beds up there and there's some out front um, so our backyard's in kind of disarray right now because we are in the middle of cleaning up the tomato jungle um, I cut down a bunch of grapevines and made a wreath there's the tomatoes so everything is just kind of all over the place we're in the process of cleaning um, things up and getting ready for fall so all right guys thank you so much for watching that is it of this video i will do another tour showing some other areas later on but if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment below and i'll see you in the next video